Hello, we're here today to thank all of you, Building Healthy Community leaders, planners, participants, and grantees for your hard work and commitment during the planning year. We also want to share some of what we've heard from you and to tell you what all of us, our board of directors, our management team, and our staff intend to do about what we've heard, both with action and support. During the course of the BHC planning year, we estimate that we heard from more than 22,000 residents, 800 organizations, who participated in thousands of meetings across the 14 BHC sites. First, on behalf of our board, let me say thank you for putting up with us. Seriously, we want to convey our heartfelt gratitude for the time, energy, and commitment you've all invested in this extraordinary effort. You know from the earliest days of the BHC planning process to its recent conclusion, we've watched California weather enormous economic and political challenges, and yet you stayed focused. You kept your eyes on the prize of healthier communities and a healthier future for our young people. We are deeply grateful for that. Now, as promised, let us share just a taste of what we've heard from you about how to build a healthier community. We particularly want to talk about some of the issues that emerged across all 14 communities and what really caused us to sit up and take notice. There were three key areas for action that you, as BHC participant leaders, focused on. First, that too many of our young people are just not safe. You said, help us create peaceful, safer communities by developing opportunities for them to make positive contributions. Second, you said loud and clear that our young people must have full access to quality prevention and health services. And third, you said, too many of our communities are designed with barriers to good health. Help us, you said. Help us to design and create places that promote health in our children and our youth. Also, although we understand our role as a health foundation with a health mission, we heard two important cross-cutting themes from virtually every BHC site. Themes that, on their face, are not typically viewed as health challenges. You said, we need jobs for our young people and we need you to help us with economic development in our community. You also talked about long-standing issues of race, immigration, and structural inequity and how these issues have a very real impact on the health of your communities. We have heard you, and we're going to help. In fact, thanks to the active listening leadership of Dr. Tony Iten and his Healthy Communities team, we have already begun to implement a series of racial justice and racial healing trainings for select BHC leaders, led by Dr. John Powell of the Kerwin Institute. And we've heard from you that those sessions have been really, really helpful. It's worth pointing out that what you've shared with us resonates powerfully with what we know to be priority challenges of distressed communities across our state and throughout our nation. As such, we see our partnership with the BHC sites as having great potential to incubate, to catalyze, and advance new and innovative solutions, not only in struggling communities in California, but nationwide. So now we must move forward. Know that what we've heard from you is changing us, changing our priorities, and changing the very work that we do. For example, youth violence has not historically been a major focus of our grant making or policy work at the California Endowment. But so many people in so many of the 14 sites have talked about youth violence as a critical community health issue that we've decided going forward it will be a major BHC priority. You talked about how you want to change the current solutions framework on community violence from one that overwhelmingly relies on law enforcement, suppression and punishment, and incarceration, to one that is driven by engagement, opportunity, and responsibility for young people. We have also heard from many of you, including youth leaders in many of the 14 sites, that the pipeline to prison for boys and young men typically begins with school suspensions and well-intended, but often harmful, zero tolerance policies. We heard you and we are committed to working with you to develop effective practices, policies and solutions to youth violence in your schools and communities. 
we've begun to call this issue healthy youth development, so as to advance a more positive, asset-based approach to this matter. Our grants will target this work as a high priority. Now let's talk about another critical issue, access to health care. At the California Endowment, we're focused on ensuring that all young people in your communities have access to a central, prevention-driven, primary care destination. We call that a health home. You flagged this as a major priority, and we heard you. Moreover, we're primed to take full advantage of the new Affordable Care Act health reform in making this happen. And to that end, we've already begun making grants to BHC sites. You've talked to us about the different ways that local physical structures are getting in the way of healthy living. Whether it's land use or the built environment, community development, or schools and joint use policies. Many of you, for example, clearly identified a disturbing lack of safe opportunities for kids to be physically active outside. Addressing these issues is critical, and we are making that a key priority for our investment. And I'm proud to say that our work in this front is greatly supported by First Lady Michelle Obama's national Let's Move campaign to reverse childhood obesity. Now it's true that the California Endowment is a health foundation with a chartered mission to spend its grant dollars on health issues. But the connection between poverty, the lack of opportunity, and health status is well documented in the scientific literature and strongly supports our belief that economic development is a health issue. Towards this end, the board has approved the creation of a $75 million mission-related investing fund to invest in job-creating ideas in your communities. Additionally, the board has directed the creation of an impact investing team at the foundation. While we do not pretend that we can solve the unemployment challenges in your communities, we will do whatever we can do to be helpful. Each of our board members has been matched up with one BHC site, so there's a chance for deeper understanding of the issues and challenges you're facing. We've put together a state-of-the-art communications team to help you tell your stories and maximize the impact of the actions you take and the solutions you find. And as you've identified specific skills that are needed, we have found people who can provide the training necessary to impart those skills and bolster your capacity. And just so you know, our own performance as a foundation will be shaped by the priority areas that you have identified. We are, first and foremost, your Building Healthy Communities Partners. Thank you for what you do to promote a healthy future for our young people. Please know that we are looking for as many ways as possible to support you in the tough work ahead. And thank you. <laughs>